and we are live hello everybody hope you're well uh, let's see who's turning up <clears throat> anyway i'll just get straight into the subject matter um hello again everybody and welcome to tonight's hangout which is when somebody asks what do i do how do i get started with whatever it is that you do how can i get started this is the reply this is the video hopefully that you can share with people so um, they know exactly what to do so without wasting your time i'm just going to go straight into the subject matter it's very simple very clear hopefully step by step and it should explain a few things and clear a few doubts if you want to go deeper we have a number of other resources including a few other actual youtube channels with content on them but also various chat groups and information groups um, where deeper questions can be attempted to be answered. But for the simple, easy, daily things for a newbie, somebody who says, you know what, info please, this video hopefully should do the job, right? So let's just go uh, straight into the presentation. <clears throat> and by myself today, my uh, trusty colleague, Bill Wilmot, is uh, not available right now. So I'll just take you through this by myself. And if there are any questions, I'll try and answer them a little later. Uh, this is basically fast track training and orientation for complete new beginners. Let's say somebody just bumped into you all of a sudden and you had to explain to them what we do. This is what we do. First of all, why are most people looking for us specifically, but an opportunity more generally, is to try and earn passively. Passive simply meaning you're earning even whilst you're doing everything else, looking after uh, a loved one, children, or gardening, or cleaning your car, or whatever else, your money is still being made and sent to you. That would be 100% passive, right? And if you want to earn without recruiting, this is without even speaking to your friends, family, neighbors, and best friends, or every, uh, your business network, without even speaking to them, if you simply want to earn for yourself without having to talk to anybody else, then you are in the right place. Now, if you're learning, uh, if you want to earn without learning to have to market, you know, without having to get to handle capture pages and uh, uh, all kinds of autoresponders and uh, Aweber's and all kinds of plugins and wizards and all that, if you don't want to know any of that, if you don't want to understand any of the sophistication of marketing as well as technology that goes into modern online marketing, then you are in the right place because you get to earn regardless of that. We have people who are 100% offline and are earning, and they're earning without even talking to anybody. You could be living in a remote hut somewhere in the southernmost tip of New Zealand, uh, far removed from everybody else, and you could still be earning passively with us, right? And you're here because you want to earn Bitcoin. Now, we want to earn Bitcoin honestly without committing fraud of any type, without cheating other people, which is how many people have actually made a lot of Bitcoin, and without overspending. You don't want to buy something wondering what if it goes down in price, and you spent something, and then for a while you may or may not have regretted it. But uh, if, you don't, if you're not sure at what level to get into, then this is the right place for you. And if you want to earn Bitcoin without taking any trading risk, that's very important because trading is all well and good until it goes south. And in that case, I being a professional trader, I can assure you the majority of people lose, the house always wins. Uh, it's no different than gambling. Trading, you really need to know what you're doing or you need a good set of uh, traders who can give you the right signals or you need a lot of practice and a lot of uh, pain that you would have gone through before you can actually master trading. Uh, nothing can trade automatically, uh, consistently, and even if it does, um, you know, it has to be transparent. So without getting into any of these complicated issues, if you just want to earn Bitcoin, yeah, simple as possible, you just want to earn Bitcoin, then you're in the right place. First thing you need to do is get yourself a wallet. It's as simple as that. You need something that has an account number assigned to you where you can hold your Bitcoin. Just like your bank account holds your dollars, your wallet will hold your Bitcoin, okay? This long sequence of characters here in the middle is your uh, typical Bitcoin address. This would be your account number. And if somebody had to send you Bitcoin, you just give them this type of an account number and they can send it to you. Each person will have a very unique set of characters. You cannot 
duplicate it. Always be sure to fully copy paste it when sending it or if you scan it by using the QR code. This address is unique to you. Nobody is easily going to make an error in duplicating it. Uh, it is so very unique. And uh, at the same time, this is what you're looking for. You need one of these to even hold Bitcoin, right? And this you can get by any number of providers. Here in, on top, for example, is Wirex. They do ATM cards in dollars, euros, and British pound. Then you've got Zappo, X-A-P-O. They also do a debit card. Then you've got Bitwala. They also do a debit card. So if you wanted this particular account number attached to one of these cards to stick them in the ATM and draw your cash out, then you want to go for one of these three companies. Just check if they work correctly in your local country. Then you've got the regular main blockchain, which uh, offers its own wallet. This is an online wallet. They don't offer a Visa debit card. Uh, then you've got Coinbase. Some people have issues with it, but it is still uh, a reasonably stable uh, 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 company with which to open a uh, Bitcoin wallet. Then you've got other companies like Exodus and Jax. These can allow you to download and keep multiple different coins, not just limited to Bitcoin, but several other things. They allow you a lot more, so much more flexible. This is slightly more advanced. And then you can have these offline wallets. Um, where you can simply plug them in, download your Bitcoin, unplug them, and you've got now got Bitcoin offline, and nobody's uh, going to be able to hack it away from you. Okay, so get yourself a wallet. That's the first step. I'm not recommending any particular one. You need to do your own research, but basically you need a wallet even before you get going with anything at all. And remember, once you've got your wallet, you need to have this long sequence character similar to this. And that is the address which we are going to make use of very, very soon. I'll just show you in a few minutes. <clears throat> this is how simple it is. You go to a home page, right? And on the home page of uh, our, our uh, opportunity, um, you will be welcomed like so. But how do you get welcomed like this? It's very, very simple. Whoever shares this video with you, ask them for their link. If they are a, a full-time affiliate, like for example, I am a full-time affiliate, uh, my link is J-A-I-G-O-L-D at CiscoGlobal.com. This is my link, so I'm a proper affiliate. But if somebody like this lady, Nina here, uh, has just recently joined up, and uh, when they joined up, um, they are not a uh, affiliate, they're just a free customer. They don't want to become a marketing affiliate. They just want to enjoy Bitcoin on their own. So it's very simple. They also will have a link. This is their link. It's basically my link plus their membership ID at the end. And this is the difference. When you have such a long type of a link with membership ID and my or somebody else's login here, then basically this would be a free members link. Something as short as this would be basically an affiliate link. What's the difference? Well, basically, if you're an affiliate, on anybody coming in, you get a 5% bonus when they buy mining. I'll explain that in a moment. But even as a free member, if you were to introduce anybody you know, uh, and few people who would like to join themselves as a free customer, not necessarily wanting to be an affiliate, then you will get 2.5% even just for sharing this link, right? Share this link, and if they are able to sign up and follow the process correctly and they start mining, you will be getting a 2.5% bonus as well. Now, if this person, this Nina here, was to upgrade from free customer to uh, a proper sponsor or proper affiliate, then their 2.5% will suddenly become 5%. They will start earning more, right? What do I get? Well, me being a fully paid affiliate, I get 5% from Nina. But if Nina introduces somebody as a free member, she will get 2.5%. Guess what? The other 25 still comes to me. So I can earn many, many levels deep, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, provided Nina keeps introducing free members who introduce other free members who introduce other free members. Each free member will only get 2.5%. The other 2.5 is set aside for me, so I can earn a lot more because I'm doing this as a full-time business. That's why I'm making this video, because I'm treating this as a full-time, proper, legitimate business. Whereas not everybody wants to do that. You just come in as a free member and enjoy all our benefits anyway, right? On the front page, <clears throat> you will be prompted to upload your KYC. That is very straightforward. It will tell you very clearly. You cannot miss it. You cannot go wrong with it. 
And you know, if for some reason you're unable to upload the documents, you can always email them to support and uh, you know, make sure that your KYC is done. KYC is basically a passport photo or a driver's license or anything with a picture on it uh, and your name and address and uh, date of birth, et cetera, uh, indicated along with the signature, hopefully, and, uh, and a little agreement. And once you've done with that, uh, you will be welcomed as a free customer, as in case here. And on the same page, you will see your sponsor's information here. This is me, for example, uh, and you will see your sponsor information on the first page as well. It's as simple as that. Now you're set up, right? Now you've got your account open and it's been verified and you're on the home page and you're ready to go. You go to my home page again and there will be a tab called My Crypto. Now if your KYC is not done, if your documents have not been uploaded and approved, you can't even access this. But if you have completed the process, just follow the instructions on screen. It cannot be difficult. If you do follow them and do it correctly, in a couple of days, if your KYC is approved, you will then have the ability to access my crypto. And in my crypto, very simple. First thing you do is add your Bitcoin wallet. Guess what? You know this long number here? The one you had created by creating a Bitcoin wallet? That account number, you stick it in here once, stick it in here twice and then you see the security code here just type it in this box over here agree to the terms if you indeed agree to the terms you're free to read them and then agree to the terms but put in your wallet here put in your wallet here security code click if you've read them and just enter and you're ready you've now got your address so what does that mean that means that our system knows the address of your bitcoin wallet and knows where to send the moolah, the Bitcoin to, right? We need to know where you want your Bitcoin because we pay it out to you every single day. It's coming to you from us every single day, right? If you want to earn your Bitcoin, tell us your address. This is the first step. It can't be more difficult than this, really. You can't complicate it any further. This is as complicated as it gets. Take your external wallet ID, stick it in here, confirm it, and you are ready. It's as simple as that. Now, how do you get started? Just on that same MyCrypto page, there's a tab called Increase Hash Rate. It's very, very simple. You can't miss it, right? So when you want to get started with uh, your uh, uh, Bitcoin mining, it says Increase Hash Rate. You go to that tab. There, you can select at the moment between Bitcoin and Ethereum. Let's go with Bitcoin, right? You just click that Bitcoin button, it's right there, and then it'll take you to this sliding scale, right? Now let's say you had a budget of maybe 500 bucks, yeah? So 500 bucks, let's round it down to 450, right? 450 will buy you an even round number, 3.0 THS, that's the amount of power, that's the horsepower in the engine that is going to produce your Bitcoin. This thing, is going to create Bitcoin for you, right? If you want more of this, you're gonna spend more. If you want less of this, you can spend less. This sliding scale here, very simple. It helps you decide how much you wanna pay for it and how much you don't wanna pay for it, right? You, you decide what your budget is. But let's say you started with three tera hash of mining power worth 450 for now, right? Then a day later, <coughs> excuse me, you should expect to see the result of your daily payment coming back to you. It may be a couple of dollars, four dollars, five dollars, whatever, whatever three terahash produces right now, doesn't really matter, but you'll get a little bit back. But when you get it back, you get it back in Bitcoin, in your brand shiny new wallet, whose ID you have planted into our system. In that wallet, you will start collecting your Bitcoin from day one. Once you get that, just forget you even have an account and go away on vacation. You don't even need to log back in to check if everything's working or not. If you get to this stage where you're able to use, let's say, three terahash of mining power for 450 bucks, you can use a gift certificate. This is only possible if you've already funded your account uh, using a bank wire. Otherwise, you can use a credit card. You can even pay existing Bitcoin. If you have Bitcoin already, you can use Bitcoin to purchase this mining power as well. But you have the option of funding your account with either a bank wire 
or using a credit card. Now, credit card, I said 450 for a reason. We've got a $500 limit at the moment. But 450 if you wanted, you can use credit card option and buy 3 Terra hash instantly. Once you've purchased this and it, it, the system shows successfully completed, log out and go to sleep. Your job is done. <clears throat> when people say, how do I get started? This is where this presentation ends. Thank you very much. Game over. Why? Because your 450 bucks is going to come back to you in Bitcoin little by little, every day or every other day, or maybe sometimes every two or three days. But it will come back to you, and you will recover this amount in easily less than a year. In fact, in about eight months, you would have recovered all of your money, and you would be sitting on a shed load of Bitcoin worth a lot more than 450 bucks. Simple as that. Finished. This is all you need to know. This is how you get started, right? So if you if you join somebody as a free member link, you will see their ID here, and you will see their sponsor's name here, or sponsor's unique ID here. And if you're joining a main sponsor who are already a, a proper affiliate, then the link will look like this. It will have their initial name, .swissgoglobal.com, and you can get going and start mining. Very easy. Just click the link, complete your profile, upload your KYC, plant your wallet ID in here, and bada bing, you're done. You, there's nothing more you need to know. But of course, I want to show you a few other things, right? This is what you do when you sponsor people. Like this, uh, this is a screenshot from May, May 24th to May 30th, a few months ago. This is a screenshot when my directly sponsored people were buying mining power, I got 5% bonus. That 5% adds up. No matter how small they buy or no matter how big they buy, I get a tiny little bonus. Look at this column. Bonus, 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 bonus. Is that nice or what? All I said is, look, they come in to mine for themselves. And every time they mine for themselves, I get a 5% tiny little bonus. Would you like to earn this tiny little bonus? Look at this big fat one, 3.4 terahash of mining bonus from Ethereum mining. I don't know who purchased this much Ethereum mining, but somebody did on May 25th. I got 3.4 terahash of mining in Ethereum. So I've got Ethereum, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, 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 and a bit of Zcash here. Right? This is just transaction number 156 to 175. I've been doing this close to a year now. I've got a lot of members buying regularly. This is just about four days' worth of bonuses accumulated. Do you think this is going to help you build up your mining power? On this page alone, I'm showing you about $500 worth of mining earned in just bonuses in a matter of five to six days. OK, this is 500 bucks here, ladies and gentlemen, worth of mining earned as bonus by sponsoring people. You could have earned 2.5% instead if you're a free member. You could have earned half as much. Still not bad, is it? Five days' work, um, you earn half as much as a proper affiliate member. If you are a free member, still respectable. You can build a business like this or don't. If you don't like the idea, well, don't. Then use your own money and do your own mining. <clears throat> this is what happens. Just below that other screen, if you scroll down, this is again the same sort of time span, May 21st to May 28th, roughly. Where there is a transaction that is payable, that is big enough to be able to pay to you, that link is available. You click this link, it'll take you straight to blockchain, and you can visually see the payment that has been made from us to you on a daily basis. If the, if the amount of reward is too small, it'll simply say, no link, no link. But eventually, it gets rolled up, and eventually, it does get paid out anyway. right? But basically, every single day's payment that you receive in your wallet is passed on to you, and it is all recorded here in the back office. You've got nothing to do. You don't even have to log in to earn this. Just set it up, sponsor a few people, tell them, get mining, dude, because you are making Bitcoin on the back of your own money. Yeah, And when you sponsor somebody, you get a small little bonus. And that small little bonus, as you can see here, soon adds up. <coughs> Excuse me. Is it worth it or not? You decide. It's up to you. 
Now, what do you do with Bitcoin? Well, you should hold it, ideally. I'll give you a very nice example in a minute why holding Bitcoin is a good idea. And, uh, you know, that's the main thing you do. You hold it. But you can also spend it. You can spend it to pay down your loans, to ease up the burden on your shoulders if you have a lot of borrowings and you need to break free from the debt cycle, spend it to pay down your debts. Use it to improve your lifestyle. Well, if you haven't had a vacation in a long time and you think you deserve it, let Bitcoin sponsor your next vacation. Because your dollars ain't sponsoring it so far, um, let Bitcoin give, it, give Bitcoin a go. Let's see if Bitcoin can take you on that vacation that the dollars couldn't afford you one. So, you know, you can use it to improve your lifestyle. What we recommend is you grow gold and silver as an asset balance. Collect gold and silver. That is the best thing I believe you can do. Uh, not the best thing, but one of the best things you can do. The best thing is to obviously have more mining. To have more mining, you can compound. If you compound, you can multiply your Bitcoin earnings very, very quickly. Then you can obviously buy more gold and silver at some point in the future. You can also trade it on various exchanges, but it's a high-risk job. You need to know what you're doing. You need to understand other currencies. It can get a little complicated. Uh, if you're not into it, uh, you know you can gradually learn about it. Um, you don't have to do a crash course on it. But get mining. Get earning first. right? Get some moolah coming your way to begin with. And when you have it, then you can choose to do one of these own many things. Be your own bank. Yeah, you can start managing your finances just using a Bitcoin wallet. And a, and a few people I know are doing it. You know, they only use uh, banks for bare minimum where nothing else will do. That's why they use a bank, right? This is what you do with Bitcoin. <clears throat> so I told you what we do, save gold and silver. Well, you see, once you're a member, you will also have access to this little tab called My Precious Metals. In My Precious Metals, you will find a little tab called Manage My Gold and Silver Saver Program. Right. Let me show you what you can do with Bitcoin right here. But before we go there, there are other uh, uh, tabs as well. Make single purchases. So if you're not a regular saver and all of a sudden, you know, you wanted to buy somebody a gift of gold or silver as a bar, something, you know, for especially grandparents to grandchildren, you know, you don't want to give them uh, Xbox games anymore. Uh, for the same price, you can buy a gram of gold and that's uh, far more valuable and they will remember you a lot longer. Games are basically <laughs> flogged on eBay within weeks anyway. But, you know, uh, I mean, that's just one example. But you can think of many other reasons why you should own uh, gold and silver. And if you wanted to make a single purchase, this is the tab. On that same page, you also have the whole Precious Metals product catalog. You cannot go wrong, right? Go to My Precious Metals, explore all these different tabs. You cannot go wrong. You cannot misunderstand what the website is telling you. It is so easy, right? But this is the main thing. If you want to set up a regular savings account, very simple. Put in a monthly amount that you'd like to pay. Let's say 100 bucks. You put in 100 here. Fill out your cardholder details uh, for your whatever card type you want to use, your country, etc. Uh, make sure your billing address is correct. And submit. And either gold, in this case, or here, silver, you can save from just 25 bucks a month, or you can save up to 3,000 bucks a month if that's what you choose using a credit or debit card. And you can just tuck away gold and silver at wholesale prices. The cheapest you will find for the brand that we sell, this is the cheapest you will find anywhere in the world. And I'm willing to uh, uh, you know, swallow my words if I'm proven wrong. For Argo Herreus, quality gold, you will not find it cheaper anywhere else. And if you do, they will not allow you to do what we do next, which is basically you bet pay using Bitcoin. You can buy your gold with a credit card or with a bank wire, or you can use a gift certificate. If you already have cash in a back office, you use a gift certificate, or you can pay directly with Bitcoin. This is what you can do, ladies and gentlemen. Please, please pay attention. You can take your Bitcoin and create a physical property portfolio of gold and metal, uh, silver metal bars, and you can create that using Bitcoin. How wonderful is that? So now all the Bitcoin haters will have to swallow their words because we use Bitcoin to buy gold and silver. It's a no-brainer, right? Here is some pricing example. Today, 18th of August, our price for 10 grams of gold, here you see, enter dollar amount, 
427.44. Below it shows you 10 grams of gold exactly. 427.44. Now, don't be fooled. Some other companies, they will rip you off. This is another company from Germany. They sell you gold at $293 per 5 grams. So that makes 10 grams 587 bucks. What's 587 compared to 427? Think it through. Yeah? 150 bucks more. What for? Because this thing is wedged in a piece of plastic. That's all. Right? If you sell back this gold, these grams, <clears throat> the same day, in fact, the following day would be better. Obviously, you need to see the quantity first. When you see your quantity in your back office, you can sell it the next day, <clears throat> and you will be losing just 12 bucks because we give you as close to the wholesale price as possible. There's only a spread of about 2.97%. So four, 427 bucks minus 2.97% is 414. That's $12.69. That's the only difference. That's a small little penalty that you end up paying if you were to sell it back immediately the next day. Hopefully not, but if you wanted to. Here, if you sell it back, you get 448 because it's already overpriced to begin with. The difference between the two is a whopping 139 bucks. 139 bucks is what you're spending to sell back to the same company, to the same company on the same day. So you overpay to enter, right? And when you sell back, you're sitting on a fat loss straight away. So be careful. Not all companies are the same. They may show you fancy arguments. Here, you earn Bitcoin for doing nothing. And using the Bitcoin, you can convert it into gold and silver grams. Uh, on the fly anytime you choose right now here are some usual cases I'll give you an example of a friend of mine Adrian he's from Wales hence the Welsh dragon uh, the Welsh flag <clears throat> now Adrian owns just 300 Bitcoin very modest number 300 but you know what in November last year he was saying oh I hope Bitcoin reaches a thousand then I will own Bitcoin worth 300,000 you heard me right. Hang on. I'm just uh, having a little drink there. Um, I hope I can own $300,000 worth of Bitcoin. That's what he was saying in November 2016. He was looking forward to hitting that nice big round number uh, in Bitcoin ownership because he bought Bitcoin. He earned it uh, a long time ago when it was very, very cheap. And he's been sat on it. He doesn't sell it. He, he likes to hold it. He knew about it a long time ago. He got in early and he doesn't regret it. Just $300. I mean, $300. I mean, if you got Bitcoin at $1 each, you'd be spending $300, right? That thing would be worth $300,000 around December. In December, it crossed $1,000 of Bitcoin. He already hit his target of $300,000. Then he says, I hope I can own half a million dollars worth of Bitcoin. And guess what? By January end, he was already owning half a million dollars worth of Bitcoin. Then he said, I hope I can make it to a million dollars by the end of 2017. Guess what? By March already, he already made a million dollars worth of Bitcoin. It's the same 300 Bitcoins he was holding. Ladies and gentlemen, please listen. He went from 300 to 500 to a million between November to March 2017. Okay, so in four months, he went from 300 grand to a million dollars. If he had to sell his Bitcoin, he could buy a nice little holiday home somewhere in Florida and still be uh, left with extra cash. Okay, so if he can do this, why, why, how is it that he's doing this? Not just that, guess what? A fork happened in August, <coughs> excuse me, halfway through, he got 300 free shares, free units of the Bitcoin cash, which was the forked Bitcoin. And that itself was worth close to $300,000 on its own when Bitcoin was worth a million. That other thing was worth $300,000 all on its own. And he collected it for free. Why did he collect so many for free? Because he owned three hundred dollars to begin with. Now, it's difficult, I know, for you and me to go into the market and buy 300 Bitcoins today. Okay, I appreciate that. But somebody who did it a long time ago and did not listen to the critics and the skeptics and the naysayers and the doom mongers and the bunch of morons that don't even know what Bitcoin is doing, don't even know how it is created, don't even know anything about it. Who cares what their opinions are? They are not paying your bills, ladies and gentlemen. 
Okay, your bills are paid by applying a simple logic. This guy, Adrian, nice chap, he took the plunge long time ago. He made sure he had a little bit of a Bitcoin balance, 300 only, it didn't look like much to him. To him, he wasn't expecting to be worth roughly 15, one and a half million dollars worth of Bitcoin. Add to that the Bitcoin cash and already he's hitting $2 million now in August 2017. And he's saying, hope by the end of this year I can cross 2 million. Guess what? I guess by October even he can cross $2 million easily. So before 12 months are out, somebody starting out with just 300 Bitcoins worth $300,000 in November 2016, in under 12 months, is now sitting on close to two million dollars. He's doing it. He can sell his Bitcoin. He can take his dollars, and he can uh, uh, drive you to the airport to go and find this person that's been telling you not to get into Bitcoin. So you can go and slap them on the face, right? I don't, uh, you know, uh, endorse violence <laughs> in particular, but you get the point, right? Somebody's been trying to keep you off it, trying to discourage you, trying to be negative about it. Somebody trying to say all these things. You know, use this example of Adrian from Wales, who's done a fantastic job in just holding Bitcoin and going from 300,000 worth to 2 million worth in under one year. And he did not listen to the foolish people. He just went ahead and did what he thought he was doing right by investing his money. Invest your talents in something that is going to grow. Do not bury your talents underground. If you bury your talents underground, what was once given to you may be taken away because you have squandered your talent. This man invested his talent and he's laughing and better off for it. Now, here's another usual case. People will tell you, oh, no, just buy Bitcoin, man. You don't want to do this mining. It's not profitable. The electricity cost is too high. There's so many opinions floating around out there. I can tell you one thing. Every single person I know has been getting paid in Bitcoin. Every single person in my team, and there's a few hundred of them, uh, a few thousand of them by now, actually, um, and they're all getting paid in Bitcoin. They're earning. So nobody can turn around and say mining is not profitable. And even if you say mining is profitable, they'll try and tell you, yeah, but why do you want to do it this way, do it the other way? There's always an agenda, right? Don't listen to people with an agenda. Listen to people who are telling you straight as like it is. I hope I am telling you straight as like it is because I do not like to mince my words. I do not have any intention of misleading a single soul on this planet Earth because it is not my job to mislead people. I'm guiding people into the right direction as far as I can help it. So help me God. Okay. Buying is a capital investment. The only way your capital investment will grow if Bitcoin appreciates in price. And yes, it can. So from December 2016, if you bought one Bitcoin worth $1,000, then by August 2017, that one Bitcoin would be worth four and a half. Amazing. A thousand bucks became four and a half thousand bucks. Yeah. In eight months, just over eight months. Okay. So it's great to buy Bitcoin <coughs> and hold it to appreciate in price. But you still only have one Bitcoin. You bought one, right? For a thousand bucks. That's now four and a half thousand bucks. Now at four and a half thousand bucks, do you really want to sell it? <coughs> Excuse me. Do you really, really want to sell it? You won't feel like selling it. What if it goes to 9,000? You, you feel like you, you, you sold it too early. You've only got one Bitcoin. Unless you keep buying more, you're not going to have more. You'll only still have one Bitcoin, right? So the only way to gain by buying Bitcoin is when its price goes up. When there is price appreciation, that's the only benefit you have. Mining, on the other hand, acts as a returning investment. It gives you a daily reward just for being a miner. And the reward is in Bitcoin. So you're earning Bitcoin every single day. With a capital investment, you're not earning any Bitcoin. You've not earned any Bitcoin in here. It's the same old Bitcoin that went up in price, and it can come down in price. It can go up in price again. It can come down in price. But it's the same old Bitcoin. Here, you're getting a little bit of Bitcoin every single day increasing towards you. It's coming to you every other day, every single day. It's spitting little by little Bitcoins, tiny little pieces of Bitcoins coming towards you. And this is an accumulating strategy. This pays back your capital over time. 
but then it continues to return more than your capital. So you will not only have your one Bitcoin at some point, but you will have more than that given the same kind of money spent. So let's say in December, around the same time, if you bought $1,000 worth of mining instead, roughly at the rate of 0.25% per day over the last 240 days, which is December to August is roughly 240 days, right? You would have returned about $600. You know, you're saying, well, I put in 1,000, I've only got 600, that sucks. I mean, here I put in 1,000, I got 4,500, that's so much better. But here I put in 1,000, I only got 600, that sucks. No, because over the same period, each of those tiny little fractions themselves went up in value, just like this thing went up in value. Those teeny, teeny, bitty little fractions also went up in value. So in fact, your $600 worth, it should be looking like $2,700 now. Now you're talking. Your $1,000 already became $2,700, OK? Agreed, not as high as 4,500 here on the other side, agreed. But you are still constantly spitting out more Bitcoin. It's an open-ended contract. It'll keep paying you more and more and more Bitcoin until its power runs out, which nobody knows. Nobody can tell you when the power will run out. But the point is, it has already returned your $1,000 worth of mining is now looking like $2,700 worth of mining plus there is a long way still to go. You get easily beat buying. And this is the same thousand bucks you spent. These are two different ways of spending a thousand bucks. That's all That's all I'm trying to tell you. Now, ask yourself, would you buy and just hold it? Or would you rather get paid over and over? Because guess what? If you're getting paid over and over every day, every other day, you're getting paid. You know what? A week later, you might actually do something different with that money. You might buy gold and silver with it. You might buy more mining with it. You might actually go and you know uh, uh, take a friend of yours for coffee or a lunch or something and spend it on your brand new Wirex Zappo debit card. <coughs> That's what you can do. Now, would you prefer regular daily cash flow? Or would you rather wait till you cash out? Because guess what? If you wanted to make use of this Bitcoin, it's just sitting there looking expensive, right? But you can't actually use it. Because in order to use it, you're going to have to spend it, right? When you spend it, you now have less than one Bitcoin, don't you? You bought one, you spent a little, you no longer have one, you have a little less than one, okay? So <laughs> the only way you can cash out is to cash out. <laughs> but when you get paid regularly on a daily basis, for example, then you have choices. You can do different things with it, right? Now, would you ra rather earn without any effort, or would you hope for a price increase? Because guess what? This logic here suggests that you're hoping, and in this case, it worked out, but this person was hoping that the price would go up, so that's why they went in. Here, whether the price went up or not, you still get paid something on a regular basis. That's why I'm asking you, would you rather earn something without any effort? You get a little bit of Bitcoin reward every day, every other day, or would you hope for a price increase so that suddenly you look much richer than you actually are, uh, just like Adrian. Now, he's actually rich. Uh, he's Bitcoin rich. But then he's an early investor. He's been there for a while. You can't imitate him very easily right now at this stage. But, and he's done well. He's, he's done uh, very well by not being tempted to sell out his Bitcoin. Just by holding on, he's turned something that he was worth just tens of thousands uh, two years ago. He's turned it to something worth potentially more than two million already. <clears throat> yeah, he's done it. He's a good example. There are many others like that. But basically, you get to earn something instead of hoping for the price to increase. Right now, simple. What do numbers say? Leave ten a thousand dollars in a bank. In the same period, December 2016 to August 2017. Leave a thousand dollars in a bank. You'll have in just nine months, you'll have eight to nine months, you'll have about 975 bucks worth of purchasing power because you may or may not realize it. But the thousand dollars you had in December last year were worth more than the thousand dollars you have today in the same bank. Because not only is that EDBD 1% interest not doing anything for you, but at the same time, the United States dollar is losing, constantly losing its purchasing power in the international market. That is called inflation. Ladies and gentlemen, 
and that inflation causes your purchasing power to actually go negative, right? Now, you could have bought gold with it. You would have done a marginal profit of about 10% so far. That's what gold has been doing since uh, the beginning of the year uh, all the way till now. It's up about 9 and 10% roughly. That's what you would have been worth. If you bought $1,000 worth of Bitcoin, you would have had $4,500 in capital growth, which is great. But there's no way to use it except if you sell it or spend it. Yeah. And if you sell it, it reduces your overall ownership of what you originally purchased. So although this number looks good, it's actually not all that impressive. Same with Adrian, actually. Unless he spends the bitcoins, they're just numbers on a screen, right? On the other hand, if you bought $1,000 worth of bitcoin mining, you'd be sitting on something like $2,700 worth of income so far, plus there'll be more to come, plus you have spending choices with what to do with that income. Even if you spent, let's say, $700 out of this, you still have $2,000, which is more than the 1000 you started with. And there's more coming anyway. So it's OK to spend a little bit of this and do something else with it, something more useful with it, because more is coming anyway. Please find a sponsor. And if somebody's sharing this video, they're a good sponsor, just go ask them, hey, you shared that video. That was really informational. I need to get started ASAP. Get started. Don't waste time. Otherwise, when Bitcoin is looking at $10,000 a coin, you'll be like, oh, man, I should have bought it when it was 4500 if you think 4500 And, you know, don't listen to all these people saying it's a bubble, it's this, it's that. Listen, if someone like this Adrian, and I, I give you this Adrian's example because, you know, I know him, I've met him, he's a, he's a good, uh, good, good guy. You know, I'm giving you his example. He just had a strong will to hold on to the Bitcoin, and he wasn't listening to other people. He wasn't listening to these silly, useless opinions people have without research, without reading anything, without understanding, without getting into the numbers, without knowing philosophy or theology or history. They suddenly want to stand in the pulpit and preach. These kind of people, you do not listen to them. Okay? So this is hopefully a quick and easy overview. I didn't want it to be too long. I'll just return to my screen now. and. Uh, I'll try and see if there are any questions, but I hope this was useful. Uh, and if you have any further questions or any, anything uh, you want me to answer, I will, I will try and uh, do my best. Uh, but please share this video with people. This is going to be the new pinned video on our Facebook uh, uh, group. And in that group, basically, when newcomers come and they say, uh, where do I get started? What do I do? Show them this video. It's not about my link. I used my link for a simple reason. I wanted to show you an example of a recent member that joined up free. But what I wanted to uh, show you mainly is the difference between a proper sponsor and a free sponsor. And even if you're a free sponsor, nothing's stopping you. Just you know, enjoy uh, uh, whoever you sign up with. I'm not fast. I personally am not really fast. You don't have to sign up with me. Find a sponsor for yourself. Ask them for the link. And tell them, please give me your link. I want to get started. I've got you know three, four hundred bucks, you know, easily wasted on uh, people waste more than that on on uh, burger meals <clears throat> over a short period of time. Uh, I can I can be very confident of that that people waste a lot more money. <coughs> um, can you explain why Bitcoin Cash is going up in price so rapidly? Look, uh, Bitcoin Cash uh, people wanted to do well because a lot of them are holding it, right? So it's just going to become one of those uh, uh, seesaw currencies. Many of them are pump and dump, right? So uh, I wouldn't take it too seriously, Bitcoin Cash. Some people have been asking, uh, is it going to go to the moon? Is it going to go to the moon? Why? Because they're holding it. They didn't get a chance to sell it when it was at nearly uh, 0.45 Bitcoin uh, per BCC. Um, and uh, you know uh, they didn't get a chance to sell it. They didn't get their allocations in time at the high price. So of course, a lot of people holding it are hoping for it to go up in price so they can then sell it. Uh, <laughs> so but I wouldn't. I yeah, it's not Bitcoin, right? It has some. Yeah, there's, they're mining a few blocks here and there, and they've got some power allocated to them to do the mining. But uh, it's it's not with the core protocol, right? Uh, can someone ask? Um, yeah. Viva la Bitcoin Revolution, uh, stay gold. Uh, this would be very good for our prospect. Okay, great. 
uh, sending it to my free member for now. Nah. Useful as usual. Great. No problem. That, uh, can you explain? Right. Okay, I've done that. Bitcoin mining is the way to go. Hello to all from Greece. Hello to everybody in Greece. Elare. Uh, hello from Brooklyn. Uh, awesome. Good stuff, guys. So, you know, I, I think we'll call it a day uh, and keep this video relatively short. But the point is this. You want to get started? It's very simple. Find a sponsor, use their link, set up a profile, and follow the instructions. They're online instructions, right? If you have the ability to open an online bank account anywhere in a sophisticated jurisdiction, then you have the ability to set up an account with us. In case of difficulty, don't just always keep going back to your sponsor. Use the support function. There's a support button that says help. Click that, fill out the form, and tell them what your difficulty is. Sometimes the website isn't uh, functioning correctly. Don't panic. Don't worry. We are all doing the same business for a very, very long time. Yeah? This is the easiest way to get started. You can upgrade later. You don't have to become an affiliate straight away. Nobody's asking you to be an affiliate. Just get mining. Just start earning Bitcoin for yourself. You need to earn Bitcoin using your money instead of wasting money on things that sound good but usually fail. This is very, very reliable. It's been running for, uh, uh, well, since November last year, since we started mining. And uh, you know, uh, if you have any other questions, we have a, a fantastic support group uh, where lots happens. Uh, and you know, especially when summer holidays are over, uh, there'll be more activity in there. <clears throat> People are on vacation, and it's a little downtime, family time right now. But guys, please, uh, you know, if you want to get started, share this video. It's very straightforward. You cannot get more simple than this. Uh, I couldn't anyway. If you can, uh, then you'll be uh, presenting better than me. And I hope that uh, I hope to see many of those. Right, guys. So thanks for being here, and uh, thanks for watching. Good night.